continue with their service on this case. All right, then I want to talk briefly about um, the jury view. I did provide the parties with um, a proposed instruction. Before I get to that, though, Mr. Brooks, I have been thinking about your request yesterday. Um, and I know I indicated to you that I would require you to be there. I've rethought that. I've had the overnight to really think about it. And um, if that is your decision to not be present for that, um, what I would say is this. You, I want you to be advised that you have a right to be at that jury view. Did you hear me say that? Yeah, I mean, you pretty much told me... Uh yesterday about you know everything that was going on i just didn't i didn't agree to or consent to it being well i was still confused about why did there even need to be a jury view that was my whole thing i i didn't i don't see the the relevancy of it and i also didn't agree with agree with or consent to having to be part of something that i don't see as relevant I appreciate you making a record of that, but did you hear what I said, that you have a right to be present for it? I've ruled that where, let me back up. There's been a request from the state to have the jury look at the vehicle that was recovered by the police and of course is alleged to be the vehicle that was driven through the parade. Did you hear me advise you of that? Yes, I heard. All right, so that motion was addressed previously and I granted the request for that jury view. Did you hear me say that? Uh, I'm, I'm informed. All right, thank you. So with that, you have a right to be present at that jury view. Did you hear me say that? I'm informed. And um, I would like you to be there. I believe it is a piece of evidence. That's why I've uh, drafted jury instruction 152 the way that I did. Did you hear me say that? I'm informed. So my question to you then this morning is, do you want to be present at the jury view of the vehicle? Uh, I, I don't see the reason why I would need to be present. Well, that's my question to you though, is do you want to be present for it? You are the accused in this case. You're the person who the state has alleged committed these acts, it's the jury view will be to view a piece of evidence that frankly can't come into the courtroom due to its size. And the jury is going to be shown that. So do you want to be present at that? For the record, I'm not a person, I'm a human being. And uh, no, I do not consent to or agree to being present at a jury view. All right, then I'm going to honor his request, but what I am going to do though, is as part of that process in any event, because it's being done in a secure location, is um, I have ordered that, a, a, I wanna make a record of what's being done, and I want a visual record of what is being done. And so this jury view is going to take place in the Sally Port of the jail and precautions are being taken so that the jurors do not know where it's at. Um, it, they'll just, it'll look like a garage, right? Anything that says jail within the Sally Port is being covered up. That will be verified before anyone is taken in there. They will be transported to there. Um, it's, I'm not sure if they'll walk or drive because it's very close. Um, but then I, the Sheriff's Department, because um, it's, as the court official, I'm in charge of keeping the record, not keeping the record, I'm in charge of making the record, It's the better way to say it. And I wanna make sure that there's a record of what is done for this trial and certainly for any appellate purposes, if need be. <laughs> the Sheriff's Department, excuse me, the Sheriff's Department is obviously charged with the security and safety of a courtroom, including the jurors. And so I have asked the Sheriff's Department to record and so there is a camera with, uh, that will be on a tripod that will record what's there before anyone gets there. I've instructed them to take that camera to walk around the vehicle and while it's recording to put it back on the tripod. 
and th before um, the jurors and the court are brought in, once we are brought in, it will also be recorded and that contemporaneous recording, um, so that will be as uh, I will walk, uh, we will walk around the vehicle uh, one time that will be recorded and then both of those recordings are going to be made part of the record. Um, because the second recording is for the record and has the jurors, um, at this point I'm going to seal it uh, so that uh, at least until the conclusion of the case, given the order that I have regarding the uh, what's referenced as an anonymous or numbered jury, so that will be sealed. Um, but what will be released to the uh, public or be made part of the public record, and so therefore any media request, would be that recording that just shows the vehicle without the jurors in it and without the court. So, and then I plan on also bringing that back to the courtroom while the Sheriff's Department's gonna bring it back and then we'll show it to you at that time. I, I have a question though. Uh, Go ahead. If, if I have a right to be present, then I have a right to not be present. How can this take place if I don't agree or consent to being present? How can it even still take place without, without uh, it, me? It will take place, sir. I'm just going to honor your request not to be there. I'm asking a question though. How can it take place without my consent or agreement? If you don't agree, it's going to take place. That's how I'm going to answer that, sir. So you not going there is not going to prevent it from happening. My Lord, is, is, but you can forfeit your right or to I be there I by your conduct. And by I your didn't. conduct, by not answering my question, by saying I don't want to be there and I don't consent to it, um, you will be forfeiting your right to be present and essentially waiving that. Doesn't, that, doesn't I have to sign something for it to be waived? Um, I don't think so in this case. Well, yesterday you said something about uh, uh i know i said that and i've yeah, had some time yeah. to think about that further um and um i don't believe i need to take a full waiver with you signing anything or even agreeing to the waiver um, so why did i have to do that for when my uh oh, i'm not going to answer those questions because that would we... be for me to give you um, an explanation of the law um no, I'm just going just to be... tell you that I'm not going to require a written waiver mm -hmm. from you in order to honor your request to not be at the, or even if I phrase it, your lack of consent to the jury view. And is that lawful law because... Sir, I'm, I'm not going to go through all the law that applies to that. This I... is my ruling. If you disagree with it and ultimately there is a conviction, you can raise that on appeal but no, your lack of consent is not going to stop the jury view. It's it, going to happen. It's a piece of evidence that I cannot physically fit in this courtroom. It's too big. It, there's no way to get it in. Okay, I'm informed of that, but at the same time, if I haven't signed any waiver, how could it be lawful? I haven't given consent or agreement to a jury view. I haven't waived any right. The, when the whole issue was brought up on the record yesterday, my first thing that I said was, I don't see the relevancy of why there should even be a jury view. And that was the whole issue. And yesterday I was told about the, I don't know how you say it, the colloquy or however you say it. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I know what was, I said. And yeah. I'm telling you, I had time to reflect. That was my initial reaction to your statement yesterday but i've thought about it some more and i'm changing my mind um so I, you, I don't believe i need to take a full waiver with a colloquy with you and anything in writing i'm advising you you have the absolute right to be there but i'm also advising you that if you choose not to be there i will honor that request um and I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to. I'm not going to direct the sheriff's department to, you know, use any type of, of force, if you will, or require you or get you there without your consent. You either cooperate with that process or you don't. The way I interpret the law, though, Your Honor, which the law is designed for to be interpreted by the people. The way I interpret 
that is I have the right or essentially to be there or not to be there and it still has to be an agreement or consent that's how I interpret the law my ruling on that sir is I disagree with you you do not need to provide consent uh, for the jury view to happen your objection is noted for the record I'll make a specific finding today that it is relevant uh, to these proceedings to this trial there is an allegation that you drove through the um, Waukesha Christmas Parade on November 21 of 2021 driving a red Ford escape killing and injuring uh, killing six and injuring dozens more the relevance is that there is in addition to the charges there's an enhancer that has been charged as it relates to the intentional homicide charges and the first degree recklessly endangering safety that you committed those acts while using a dangerous weapon i would direct your attention to the meaning of a dangerous weapon that uh, the legal definition that was provided to the jurors in the preliminary jury instructions and that the jury view um, is uh, related to the evidence that the state is presenting uh, regarding the charges and specifically uh, the instrumentality that they allege is the dangerous weapon. So there's clear relevance of this vehicle as and has evidentiary value. Uh, again, your objection is noted for the record, um, but I will uh, and am permitting the jury view of the vehicle. With that, I'm gonna give the, I'm going to move on to the jury instruction. Um, I don't agree or consent to that, Your Honor. I, I understand if, your if objection not, is well noted for the record. I, I need to keep going, though, on the pattern and jury instruction. I'm informed that you pattern. need to keep going. I'm not trying to stop you from continuing to go. I'm, I'm merely stating for the record that there are things I do not understand how they'll be, how they're being permitted versus the Constitution. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're, you're aware under Article 6, Chapter 2 about the Supremacy Clause that the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. So how can we disregard? Mr. Brooks, I'm not disregarding the Constitution. I've well, made I have, my, here's the thing. I've made my ruling, okay? Once I've made a ruling, I do expect that even if you disagree with it, you're going to, you will not continue to argue it. Not that arguing. we will continue on I'm with the next to topic. I'm seeking understand, Your Honor. It's not an argument. Mr. Brooks, I, I'm not going to explain further other than what I have done, my ruling. My ruling stands. Now, I'm going to move on to the jury instruction. I gave the parties two documents. May I respectfully reject that ruling and take exception um, to that ruling? Your objection is noted. I'm for the moving record, on may to I jury request a legal or factual basis for Mr. your Brooks, ruling, Your Honor? Mr. Brooks, please don't interrupt me, okay? I, gave, I give you an opportunity to raise your objections and to make your legal arguments, an and then I make a now. ruling, and then you start in on something else. You need to give me your argument all at once. For you to interrupt me afterward is disruptive to me. It's not disruptive. And it's, it's interrupting, and it's disruptive. It is definitely not disruptive. Well, if that's my view of things, sir, and... What I'm putting on the record is that it does disrupt what I'm doing and the flow of what I'm doing and needing to move on, having to interrupt what I'm doing so that I can address that once again. Please, please, I know you may not always agree with my rulings, but I'd ask that you show the courtesy and decorum that is expected of everyone. And once I make a ruling, we're gonna move on. You don't need to keep objecting because your objection's already been noted for the record. I'm going to continue. We're going to look at jury instruction 152. Well, I, I gave the parties two documents yesterday. One was I the pattern instruction, um, which I've modified. And then one is the draft of, and I'm, Mr. Brooks, please stop. You're, you're continuing to talk over me. Because you didn't, you're interrupting. You, didn't, you said I have the right to object, and you didn't let me even get to the objection. I, I did, sir. No, you okay? didn't. I was still, I was My, right in the middle Your objection comes before the ruling, not after. Once I make a ruling, we're moving on. You made a ruling before we even finished the conversation, Your Honor. With all due respect, <laughs> Mr. Brooks, before, please before we stop. even finish. That's not true. Okay? You said I'm going to make a ruling as soon, as soon as you even started in about 
Uh, Mr. Brooks, I'm not going to spend to hours on end making a ruling about a jury view on something I've already decided. All right? So please, I'm asking well, you to stop. Stop no, interrupting me. You can't, and please you can't listen. just disregard the United States Constitution. Which I, has a I absolutely clause. am not disregarding you the United are, States you're, Constitution you're or the Constitution of office. the state Your of Honor, Wisconsin. Are you not a public servant? Okay, Mr. Brooks, you're good. you're starting to cross the line. You've already crossed it, but I want to keep going. I, I want you in this courtroom. Line. But if you keep interrupting me and putting you on notice that um, it's, you are you run the risk of being uh, forfeiting your right to be present in this courtroom and continuing in the next courtroom so that I can effectively and without interruption continue with the proceedings so this again, morning. So again, you're holding me in contempt. All right, jury instruction 152, has the state had an opportunity to review it? Is that a judicial determination that I'm being held in contempt? And I agree generally with the court's um, proposed instruction. I did submit